Welcome to my first YouTube video. We're going to unbox the minis, starting with this Pathfinder Kingmaker box. So we'll just get the box open. Okay. There we go. The one little mini has already come out of its package, which is fine. And we'll just get this. Oh, sometimes it's just a struggle. And we get this beautiful looking Ani Mage. And this Wear Tiger. I really like this figure. And this back is the Shadow Rogue. The Dwer Meerkat was the figure we that came out of its packaging as I was unpacking the box. The Shadow Rogue would go nicely with the rest of my uh, Thieves Guild figures. I think this Wear Tiger would actually be a great character figure for a Tabaxi Monk. And the paint job on this Ani Mage is absolutely beautiful. I love the magic coming out of his hand. Very samurai like. Which we move now on to the DD box of uh, Monster Menagerie 2. Get this thing open here. I had already started by cutting the tape off of each of the box, each of the boxes. So let's get these out of here. There we go. Ah, oh, hippogriff. Very nice. Get the stand out first and set it up. Get the hippogriff out. Hippogriff out. Sorry about that. It doesn't stand on its own, but hey, put it on the flying stand. He looks great. What do we got in the bags? A hobgoblin. Very nice. Face is really red, but all right. This little guy looks like a bullywog. And uh, let's see what this is. It's made of stone. Some sort of earth elemental. It says on the bottom, Galeb Durner. Dunner. Dunner. So here's the hobgoblin. Good sword. Shield. Armor. The Galeb Dunner. I hope I'm pronouncing that even close. It looks like some sort of uh, rock elemental. Ah, uh, the Bullywog. Ready with his quarterstaff. And the Hippogriff. Very nice. It takes us now to the big Tyranny of Dragons box. I've picked up three or four of these in the past. And of the few I've picked up, three of them all had a gold dragon in them. So I'm hoping not to see a gold dragon here. What I have gone and done is two of the gold dragons have been repainted. One blue, one red. And then we have here actually is a frost giant. Look at that. This axe needs to be straightened, but that's a big figure. Especially when you put a little tiny... What is this? What is this? I can't even get it out. There you go. A little tiny goblin fighter next to him. A very Groot-like Needle Blight. And this is written so small on the bottom. Look at this. This is a Rock Gnome Female Wizard. It's written so small. So there's the Goblin Fighter. It looks very different from Pathfinder Goblins. The Rock Gnome Female Wizard. I don't think I'll straighten her staff out. It's got a, a bend in it. I'm fine with that. It's just a wooden staff. Here's the Needle Blight. You can see what I say about him looking very uh, Groot-like. I 
And the Frost Giant figure is so big, he doesn't stand on my display uh, mount very well. And so here I'm holding him and trying to spin him at the same time, so... A little shaky. But look at the detail on the axe. So again, here's the Pathfinder Kingmaker I got. I picked up in the box. The Man uh, Monster Menagerie 2. And the Tyranny of Dragons. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon.